Good morning and welcome to a little video that I wanted to share with you about how to paint a wing. So I have coming up in March a very special course that I, is the first course that I'm creating. It's especially designed for beginners and Angel hears me talking so she wants to say hello. Get up there, say hello. And it is called Art Rave Academy. I'm starting it in March. And it's gonna be a basic foundational course for beginners who are maybe just starting in painting or wanting to improve their painting skills. And it's going to be a breakdown of all of the foundational, fundamental drawing and painting skills that are presented in a fun and easy to watch format so that you can get all those basics kind of under your belt and then approach each painting with more confidence. So the Art Rave Academy is coming up in March. So what I wanted to do today was share with you an off the easel session. So I'm giving you a free session that is what I do in the membership as well. It's twice a month we do a little session called off the easel. And this is a breakdown of the process of similar to the academy that I'm gonna be doing in March, I'm going to, just in a short amount of time today, we're gonna to walk through the process of referencing a wing, uh, doing a little sketch of a wing, and then doing a practice painting of a wing. So it's taking those basics, the drawing, the referencing, and then showing how we can take those basics and how we can apply it right to a painting. What are you doing? Are you saying hello? Are you staring me in the eyeball? <laughs> so this is Angel, Hi. my new studio buddy. You gonna say hello? Say hello. Do you say hello? Angel, say hello. Hi, Rachel. Let's say good morning to everybody. Maybe she'll say good morning when I say hi. Hi, Glenna. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Jody. Okay, Angel, you gonna go in the back of my chair? Okay, so I'm gonna take my phone off and we're gonna do, part one is going to be showing you how I reference. Now this is, this could be an entire session um, of Off the Easel, but I just wanna give you a little taste of how we're going to, and we're painting a wing today, so if you stick around to the end, you're gonna have a really nice um, practice painting of a wing and you can use this session today to paint the little freebie that I did on Monday when we painted Healing Heart. So that Healing Heart painting has two wings in it and this session will help you to go through that painting with a little bit more mastery. Okay, so let's go to the photos I just referenced. Oh, there's my lovely sister. Let me go to my main photo album. And where are we? Let's see. Um, let's, okay, library. So I just screenshot it, excuse me, but um, a bunch of pictures. All right, here we go. All right, so first of all, when I'm doing a wing, I wanna start off with the real thing. So I'm gonna look at the an actual wing on a bird and for this painting, we're gonna be doing the interior of a wing. Um, there's of course the outside or the exterior. Come here, you can't walk on the keyboard, girly, or you're gonna push all kinds of buttons. Get up there. So we're gonna do the interior wing. And the first thing that I want you to notice on here, because this is an actual wing, is there's this bone right here. And then from that bone comes the feathers. And I just want you to notice how tight the feathers are right here and then how they get to be like medium feathers right here. And then all along here are shorter feathers ending up at the very, I mean longer feathers ending up at the very longest feathers over here. Like on angel's wings, look at, look at those big, there, I'm gonna manhandle you if you're walking across here. Okay, so now we're gonna be drawing these wings kind of folded. And when we, when the wings are folded, you can see how there's the, still, the length is here along the bottom, and then look at these beautiful tight feathers along the top. Okay, so now that's the real, the real bird. Now let's go to an illustration to see it a little bit more 
clearly. See, now you can break it down looking at an actual illustration and, and it's a little more clear how you see small, medium, large. And as it starts to, and then I think this is the back of the wing and this is the interior. So they can turn, you know, primary and secondary. All right, now let's look at how they are folded. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up some different wings here. Now this, of course, is a, a product that's for sale. I think it's like an incense burner or something. Of course, it has the heart in the middle, just like we painted on Monday. And you can see here, let me get my little pen tool so I can point. You can see here how we have that bone, which is in an arc. And then these short feathers, medium, and then these really long, graceful feathers. Same thing on these angel wings. Now, I love the way it kind of comes up and then angles down versus having it like an arch. That's a really interesting detail that I like about this particular statue. I also like the way the, the wing lengths are staggered. So what I mean by staggering is you can see how they kind of intermix and then they get long. Whereas on this illustration here, while this is a really nice painting, what I'm not so crazy about here is the way it goes straight, straight, whoops. See how it's just going like a straight row? And I think that that's not something that I particularly like. I like when the, the length of the feathers are a little bit more staggered versus them going straight across. So we are going to, we're gonna stagger ours, which is, I think it's actually a little easier. Um, hey, chicken, get off my, my thing here. So this, so I just want you to make a note of that because I'm gonna talk about that when we do our little sketch. All right, let's see what else I, I get here. Now this one is another great one. So this is a painting, but you can see how also it goes up and more to a point because it's showing that elbow or wrist, whatever they term it, but they're also curling towards you and it's creating this really deep shadow here. So this might be a little bit more of an advanced because see it's showing the interior of the wing here and then it's showing the exterior of the wing because it's curl, it's sort of curving towards the viewer. And that's a totally different design, but here you can still see small, medium, large, largest. All right, so now that we've gotten that referencing and we've taken some time to observe those little details, now we're gonna do a drawing and then we're gonna do a painting. So in our Rave Academy, I'm going to put together, or I have put together lessons that are applicable to painting, but each lesson breaks down one specific element. It might be drawing, it might be perspective, it might be shading. Everything is given to you in little bites so that you can get that those foundational vocabulary, the foundational skills to start your painting practice. All right, so let's do a quick drawing of the wing using our references and thinking about the painting that we're gonna be doing, which is the healed heart. And let's see, I don't think I have it down here in my studio because I probably brought it upstairs to look at because it's so pretty but I have a picture here. So let's, I'll show you the picture of the healed heart. So this is the painting that I did on Monday. If you did not see this on the main page, the video is there so that you can paint it for free. And this is in honor of my, my dear older sister, Sherry, who loved wings and hearts, but she also just, um, you know, I think that this is something that she had a fondness too, because I saw several of these kind of things in her belongings. Um, so this little painting, I, I did these wings um, fairly loose. And so we're gonna draw them with just a little bit more intention this time. Like I said, we're breaking it down. We're making it a little bit more um, intentional. And then you can always paint it messy too, but let's just get to our drawing here. I'll stop. 
I'll stop babbling. All right, so let's just get in a basic shape. So here's a basic shape of our wing, okay? And we have, make sure that this is, I'm gonna draw this a little bit darker. Usually I sketch very light, but just so that you can see it, I'm gonna draw it a little darker. So we're going to give it that arc going up and then that beautiful bend coming down and then feathers coming down this way, okay. Now this piece here is going to create some shadow. So we know we're gonna have some shadow underneath here. And we're just going to not, this is not to make it perfect. This is just practicing so that when we paint, we're not starting from scratch. Our visual memory that we create during the drawing will stay with us. And then while we're painting, we just we can only focus just on the painting part. And this will almost be like memorized. So I did the first couple rows of staggered smaller feathers. And now I'm gonna do some longer ones. Again, they, they don't need to be in a row. I don't want them to be perfect. I want them to be staggered and loose. And then I'm gonna get longer. And now I'm gonna get really long. And I love when there's a couple of feathers off, off the side here. Maybe they kind of kick out a little bit. See how they're breaking that line? They're coming out like this. Okay, so I think we're getting some really nice, some really nice feathers in here. And we could go through now and refine these and actually start to darken and add shadows to some of them, but we don't really have to. For this purpose, we just wanna get down the drawing so that we can do a better job painting. But you can add little feathers up here. Look at how cool that's starting to look. It's that variation in size that starts to just come alive here. Now, if you start adding shadows, it really gets exciting. So let's just start, I'm just gonna add some little shadows underneath some of these wings, I mean, some of these feathers. And in here, this is gonna be nice and dark, just like, just like in this illustration of this reference. So the Off the Easel is a, in a, a um, little lesson that I, only teach within the membership. The membership is going to be opening in April, but before that membership opens, I'm going to have a course. And this course is going to be an amazing price. It's a one-time fee and you own the course forever. You can refer back to it. You can follow along in March, but you can also refer back to it or go through it at your own pace. And what the course is, it's a collection of not all of the Off the Easels, but specific Off the Easel classes that I taught the last year and a half within the membership. And they are the classes that I feel give the greatest value as a foundation to learning to paint. And it's a, like I said, it's a beginner course, but it's really meant to also enhance anybody's painting or drawing skills. Well, painting skills that move you towards improving your painting, which drawing is often one of those components that will help you be a better painter. You can never spend too much time drawing if you want to improve your painting. They will always improve, but you don't have to be a master drawer, artist, illustrator to paint better, but the better you know how to draw, the more options you have in your painting subjects. You're not as limited. All right, so now we drew this fabulous wing, and now we're gonna practice painting the wing. So we're gonna take our 
observation skills, our practice sketching, and now we're going to we're going to practice a painting. So I'm going to use the same palette I used Monday just to save some plastic. And Angel's being so good. She's just sitting here looking so cute. All right, let me get some black and white paint. I'm going to keep this to basic black and white because we just I just want to demonstrate the layers of paint. So I might do black and white and add a little gold because I think that the gold looked really cool on our painting on Monday. Uh, let's see, where's my gold paint? I know it's, there we go. All right, so I'm using Blick paint, and then the gold is the Liquitex Basics, but you could use any black, white, or metallic paint. And let me get a some brushes. So I'm primarily going to use a flat brush and a pointy brush. And this is this brush is a little larger than what I normally use, but for the sake of this demonstration, it'll help me paint the feathers a little larger and a little faster for the demo. Okay, so since I'm gonna be doing a white wing, I wanna have a dark background. And I don't want the, the, since I'm painting on paper, this is a mixed media pad, so it's a heavyweight paper. Mixed media pads will often have a heavier weight. And you can see this as 128 pounds. That is how thick the paper is. So if it's a 60 pound, obviously this is twice as thick. But I still wanna be careful that I don't get too much water in my paint. So let's just mix a gray here. And I'm just gonna paint a nice big area here. I wanna start off with a dark background as an underpainting for my wing. So let's just get this in here. And I'm taking you through what is a, some foundational skills that when you put them together will enhance your painting. So if you watch the, the painting on Monday or if you plan on painting it or if you've painted it, this is gonna help you out to give you a little bit more um, practice. And that is what the Art Reef Academy course is going to be. It's, it's not necessarily going to be um, while painting, they are the foundational lessons that help you improve your painting. Just like these little, these little bits in here. Okay, so going from light to dark, we painted our dark foundation. And now I'm just gonna use a light piece of chalk to lay out my wing. So I'm gonna just put in my, my wing here now, since I already practiced the shape, it's getting easier. Each time you repeat something, it gets easier. Now I have my small feathers kind of in this area, my medium feathers in this area, and then the long feathers down here. I think I might need some more background. This would be a really cool painting on a piece of barn wood or a, a narrow canvas. It'd be beautiful. Like a long, ooh, this would make a beautiful 10 by 20. I should do that. Okay, so there's our wing. I just messed up a lot of my chalk, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting down a, a base coat and then I'm gonna do highlights and shadows. So my base coat for the wing is going to be a light gray or a slightly, let's start with a slightly lighter gray. And I'm gonna put in the foundational um, sections here, the brightest sections. 
Now, since this is shaped like a tapered point, it actually is a perfect wing shape if we paint it with the point going down. We want the point going down just like the wings, just like the feathers. So I can just layer the outer feathers. Look at how easily they shape. The shape just is that nice long, elongated pointed. And I'm starting with the tip and then just pulling up, painting the outside feathers first. And I'm painting it first in a little bit of a gray because I'm gonna add more and more white as I define the feathers and have them pop out. And then the black, my black background will be my, my, my shadows. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this gray and I'm gonna start painting the interior wings. So I'm gonna paint the small ones up here, little tiny brush strokes. Look at how perfect those little tiny wing little tiny feathers this look. Then I'm gonna start getting a little bit bigger. Remember, I don't want them to be in a row. That's just me. I don't wanna have a row of feathers. I want them to be kind of staggered. So I'm gonna mix up the, stagger the lengths. And now as I, I got some medium feathers, now I'm gonna start getting longer and longer feathers. And this whole section down here can be very long. Maybe they can fan out a little bit if you want a little flare. And we are getting our feathers looking so cool already. And when you're painting from dark to light, it gives you a chance to also make different little corrections if you want to. Each, each layer that you make will not only build upon your previous layers, but it gives you an opportunity to start seeing that object you're painting. And then you start creating more and more um, realism if that's what you wanna go for. Okay, so I'm gonna get, now I'm gonna get straight white and I'm gonna start just painting the tips. I wanna get the, the lightest, brightest feathers, nice and white. So small ones, remember on the, on the top, larger. Now, if I, if I wanna leave a little shadow, I can stop just before I hit the other feather and that will create, automatically leave a little shadow. See if I pull up my brush and I just let it sort of fade off. Do you see that little bit of gray I'm leaving there? That's going to provide a shadow without even painting a shadow. I could just leave some of that gray and I have an automatic shadow. So down here, I'm see I'm pulling up, letting the paint sort of fade off, just pulling up and then letting it just lightly fade. So then look at all that beautiful shadow right in there. And it's kind of nice doing it on practice paper because then you don't feel like you're so you know, you don't have to be so stressed about it. You can paint five of these, 10 of these if you want to. And as I come up, I'm going to follow my previous layers or I can make new ones. But by just painting the tips, I'm creating this overlap. So easy, right? Look at how it just comes together just with a couple of little, now I'm starting to get shorter. And I might need to come in, as it dries, it starts to get a little darker. So I wanna leave some of this shadow up here. So I wanna stop right here and just make a note. 
that I don't want to have the same brightness up underneath here because that's where I had shadow. So let's just mix a little bit of a light of a more of a, a darker white. I can still highlight the tips, but now it's going to be a little bit darker, just a little bit. See, so I used a darker gray in here. I still painted and created those little feathers, but I left it a little bit, it's a little bit darker. Now the last thing I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add final coat of white. Because remember I said it, how it dries darker? Well, we can get lighter, even lighter now with some straight white. So let me get a little bit more white. Okay, so let's just get a little more white. And with straight white, I wanna pop out which are the brightest feathers. So let's say my light source is coming from above. Well, I want the top of this to be really bright then. So if my light source is coming from up above, I wanna have the brightest white right up here and on some of these feathers. right now as the wing goes back you can put a little backlight there now this area is going to stay shadowed but these feathers as the wing sort of curves forward you can see on this angel's wing it's a little lighter right in this middle area and then these feathers might tuck back a little bit so we can add white to the tips or edges of any of the feathers we want to look like they're being hit by light. Now if you really want to get you know crazy detailed you can come in with each feather and add like little tiny you know add little extra little details like this, little tiny lines. I'm not gonna do that on this. I'm just gonna show you that that's, that's an option. Like on these bigger feathers, you can always add a little extra texture. Look at how much more believable it is now when you add those little lines. Or just make each feather a single little stroke like that. And I'm gonna pop out a couple of these I don't want to do the same thing all the way down to the tip. That's just, I'm, I'm just going to stop on some of these middle ones so that it, it looks like these are kind of coming forward and maybe, maybe just one of these, this one, maybe we'll just give this one a bright edge. Now look at how magnificent that wing's looking. I love it. All right, so now I'm going to add just a little bit of fun gold, which we added to the painting on Monday, which is still on this main page, by the way, if you wanted to try it, you can paint that heart with wings. Okay, so let's do a little gold just for kind of give it a little extra magic. Oh, yeah. So pretty. Just gonna put a little bit of gold on some of the wings, not all of them. Some of the feathers, rather. And there we go. There's our beautiful wing. A little bit more in depth, which is what the off the easels are meant to do. Of course, to give you a little bit more of a foundation. We talk about a little bit more of the techniques. And if you do try out any of these exercises, 
I'd love for you to share them on the Facebook page or in the free group. And just to show you again the painting that um, you can use these exercises for is this one here. This is called A Healing Heart. The video is still up on the Facebook page. And keep an eye out or watch your email or sign up for our email if you're not on our list uh, to learn more about the Art Wave Academy, which is only gonna be $29 for the entire course. There's gonna be over 15 videos um, that will break down all of the basics. I mean, there's a lot of fundamentals that you can learn through years of art college like I did, but I'm gonna take those years and break them down into the most important little nuggets and touch on what I feel it cuts through all of the, there's so much online, there's so much um, content online in, involving art lessons and it can be overwhelming, but to paint the Art Rave paintings and to paint at the level that I paint, I'm providing this foundation in Art Rave Academy to give you just the clearest path to learning the foundations so that you can join me in my Art Rave classes and paint so much better and paint beyond even the level I paint at, in Art Rave. All right, so I look forward to seeing what everybody creates and I appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your Wednesday. Bye everyone.